Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So in this video, we're going to learn about minimum spanning tree, which is more commonly known as MST. So in order to understand minimum spanning tree, the first thing that you need to understand is what is a spanning tree? So you will be given an undirected weighted graph. So the edge will have different or equal weights and this graph will contain N nodes and M edges where N can be any number, M can be any number. There is no relation between them. So if you see as of now, this graph is connected by one, two, three, four, five, six edges, correct? And how many nodes are there? One, two, three, four, five. So this graph is currently having five nodes and six edges. Now the task of a spanning tree or the definition of a spanning tree is, I write the definition, a tree in which we have n nodes, very, very important. We have n nodes and n minus one edges. That is the definition of spanning tree. A tree in which we have n nodes or n minus one edges and all nodes are reachable from each other. And all nodes are reachable from each other. So if someone does ask you the definition of spanning tree, please make sure you tell them that it should have n nodes, n minus one edges and all nodes should be reachable from each other. That is the definition of a tree. So if you remember a tree, like if I draw a tree, so what is this tree? One, two, three, four, five, five nodes. And if you carefully see one, two, three, four edges and everyone is connected to each other. If you want to go from here, you can go. If you want to go from here, you can go. If you want to go from here, you can go. So everyone is connected and it has exactly five nodes and one lesser number of edges. So that is what the definition of a spanning tree is. You have to make sure that from this, you draw a tree out such that it has all the n nodes, n minus one edges, and all nodes are reachable from each other. For an example, if I try to draw one of the spanning trees, it can be something like I will take zero. I will probably take one with it and I'll take four and then I'll take two and then I can definitely take something as three. So can I say this is a spanning tree? I definitely can say that this is a spanning tree. Why? Because if you look one, two, three, four, five, five nodes. And if you carefully see the number of edges, one, two, three, four, four edges. So thereby this can be called as a spanning tree. And if you carefully observe, everyone, all the nodes are connected. Everyone is in a component, is in a single component. Thereby, this can be called as a spanning tree. Can I draw a few more spanning trees from this particular graph? Yes, we can. Assume I take three. Assume I have something like a one. Assume I have something like a zero. And then I have something like a two. And then I have something like a four. This is also spanning tree. Why? Because if you see, we have one, rather, we have one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four edges five nodes and four edges again. Similarly, can I draw any other spanning tree? Yes, I can draw. How? Imagine I take zero and then I take one and then I take two. And what I can do is I can probably relate four over here and I can have three over here. This is also a spanning tree. Why? Because again, one, two, three, four edges and all the nodes are connected. So in this way, you can have a multiple like there is no restriction on the number of spanning trees you can have any number of spanning trees depends on graphs any graph might have one spanning tree some graph might have two some graph might have three some graph might have five there is no restrictions it depends on a graph to a graph so i've drawn two spanning trees one is this one while the other one is this one now what you need to do is you need to write the edge weights so imagine i write the edge weights it is six this is two this is five and this is three. Okay. Now if I sum it up, six plus two is eight plus three is 11. So the sum of all the edge weights is 16 in this case. Okay. If I write the edge weights over here, it's two, it's eight, it's three, it's seven. And if I try to sum it up, it's basically 10, three, 13. And the sum comes out to be 20. So you can draw all the spanning trees. You can draw all the spanning trees and you can figure out the sum. Okay. Now the tree, which has the least or the minimum sum will be the MST 
of this particular graph. So for this particular graph, what I can say is this is the MST. Why? Because the sum is 16. You can try drawing out all the other spanning trees. You'll find that this is the spanning tree which has the least sum. Can a graph have more than one spanning trees? Yes, it can have. But the idea is any tree, any tree with the least sum, any tree with the least sum is called the MST. It can be two, it can be three. But the sum has to be the least. You cannot say 20. You can call this as a spanning tree. But you cannot call this as a minimum spanning tree. But you can call this as a minimum spanning tree. You need to understand. This is a spanning tree. But this is a minimum spanning tree. Any tree which has the minimum sum is known as MST. I hope the definition of MST is clear to you. So in case MST is clear, I'll give you a very, very small task. So this is a graph that I'm giving you. What you need to do is you have to draw the corresponding MST of it. So I'll also be drawing it, but you need to pause the video now, draw the MST, come back and check out my answer. Okay. So what will be the MST for this particular graph? It's very simple. What I'll do is I'll first take one and probably I'll connect it with four. Then I'll connect it with two. That'll be edge weight one, two. I'll try to connect with three, which will give me an edge weight of three. Then I'll try to connect with five, which will give me an edge weight of four. And then I'll try to connect with six, which will give me an edge weight of seven. So I think sum will be four plus one, five plus two, seven, three. Sum will be 17 for this particular MST. Okay. So you can try it, uh, try out on your own as well. If you, so in case you also got the same MST, perfect. Just in case you did not, nothing to worry with uh, more and more examples in the upcoming videos, MST will definitely get clear to you. So now you must be thinking, how do we find the MST of a given graph? Very simple. There are a couple of algorithms. One is the Prim's algorithm, which I'll be discussing in the next video. And the other algorithm is the Kruskal. But in order to understand that, you have to know disjoint set data structure. So the next video, let's learn Prim's. And then we'll be diving deep into disjoint set data structure, Kruskal's algorithm, and we'll be doing a bunch of problems on disjoint set because it's a very, very important topic in graph data structure. Guys, I hope you have understood uh, MST and everything that I've taught you in this particular video. So just in case you did, please, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right away. And yes, if you haven't checked out our DP series, and the SG sheet, the links will be in the description. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's finish some of the video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.